In this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how much money it costs to ship items to Amazon FBA. So FBA stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. So if you're selling Amazon FBA, that means when you go to sell your products, you have to put them in a box, you have to weigh them, you have to label all your items, and you have to ship it to Amazon FBA. Once it gets to the FBA warehouses, they're gonna pick it, pack it, ship it right to your customer, and you get paid. But you wanna know, how much does it cost to box those items up, throw a UPS label on it, and to ship it to Amazon FBA? So, to give you a quick, clear, concise answer, and I'll break this down, it's about 30 cents per pound. Okay, so that means if you're going to ship out a book, and put it in a box, it's gonna be about 30 cents per pound. So it's gonna be 30 cents for that one item. So if you had 30 books that were all about one pound, that would be 30 times 30 cents. So it would come to about $9. So when I ship out my items to Amazon FBA, I'm typically putting anywhere from 20 to 30 to 40 items in a box. The boxes I use are typically the small boxes from Lowe's or Home Depot, or the medium sized boxes that are 18 by 18 by 16. So typically, if I'm sending out 20 to 30, 40 items, and maybe it's anywhere from 20 to 30 to 40 pounds, typically on average, it costs me anywhere from about seven to $12 to ship a box to Amazon FBA. Now you might be thinking, Steve, how is this possible? When I go to ship an item through USPS or UPS or FedEx, maybe one by one on eBay, it could cost 10, $12 per item. How in the world is it so cheap? The reason it's so cheap is because you're shipping through Amazon and you're getting UPS uh, carrier discounted rates. So when you ship to Amazon FBA, you're going through UPS inside of Amazon system and you're getting discounted rates. I'll give you a couple tips here. You wanna to try to pack as much as you can into a box. Now you don't wanna go over 50 pounds. Typically I like to keep it you know, 45 pounds or less. Okay, and you have to keep in mind, if you only ship out maybe two or three or four items in a box, you're gonna get hit with way higher fees. So you actually get punished pretty severely if you only put two, three, four, five, six, seven items in a box. So the more items that you could put in the box, it reduces that rate as well because they have some type of minimum barrier. I don't know exactly what it is, but all I know is if I ship out a box, for like, I don't know, three items, it's gonna be at least five or six bucks. So there's some type of base that they have, but what you need to know is typically it's about 30 cents per box. So if you send out 20 pounds items, it could be a book, a DVD, it doesn't matter what it is, it's probably gonna be six, seven, eight bucks. If you send out 30 pounds, it's probably, you know, a couple dollars higher. If you send out 40, 45 pounds, it could be, you know, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 dollars. Now, one thing to keep in mind is it depends where you're shipping your boxes to. So when you go to ship to Amazon FBA, you can actually turn placement fees on or off. Essentially what that means is you can pay an extra 30 cents per item to have everything shipped to one location. If that location is close to you, it's gonna be a lot cheaper versus, let's say you're in Connecticut and they're making you ship out a box to California, it's gonna probably be 20, 30, 40% more expensive even though you do have discounted rates, there are fees that are involved based on location, based on the weight. And again, you wanna have more items in the box that you possibly can because it will reduce that rate. Again, I don't know exactly how every single itty bitty detail is calculated, but just know it's about 30 cents per pound. You wanna ship as many items in the box as you possibly can. You wanna keep it, I would say under 45 pounds. You could turn placement option on for an extra 30 cents per item, or just have the default distributed setting and it'll distribute it to a whole bunch of different locations. But just know if you have five going to one location, 12 another, and then 27, your rates might be a little more expensive where it might be a better option to turn placement option on. So hopefully this video helped. If you have any questions, please let me know. Oh, and one final tip, tape your boxes up really well. You have to understand UPS, you know, they're dealing with hundreds of thousands of millions of packages. They're never gonna care about your products and your packages as much as you. So if you have 500 to 1,000 to $2,000 worth of worth of value in that box, tape it up really well. If you have any more questions, let me know down below. If this helped, smash that like button, and I'm here to help you in future videos. Much love.